at the outset of this video, I just wanted to say that I filmed this over the course of a couple of weeks trying to get everything done, but I've had a kind of a hectic schedule, but I wanted to get it done as soon as I could. The rubber tire scales idea kind of fell through. It just wasn't working out this time. I'm probably going to attempt it again, but it just didn't work out. So I went with some wood that I had and just peened the handles on and did it that way and dyed it with leather dye. So like all things on this channel, you know, use what you got. And so this was a case of that. I still need to put a better edge on it. I did a little bit of testing and, and it surely needs a better edge on it. So that I'll, I'll probably do another video after I get that done of just showing performance of it at some point, but I just don't have a good belt sander. So I'm probably gonna do that at my brother's house. Might not even be able to film that, but if I do, Get a better edge on it i'll take it out and do some serious chopping with it and see what it does but i sanded the handles down with some abrasive little sanding discs and things like that dyed it did all that stuff and finished it up so i hope you guys like the video i got some bad camera angles and i'm sorry about that so i tried to kind of cut most of that and abbreviated most of the process as i was going down because it's not really a how-to it's just it can be done you know so yeah did it with a minimal tools and resources and just repurposed stuff so i hope you guys like it and i'll try to kind of up the ante on the quality of stuff as as i get better at this that's the first machete i've ever made first handles i've ever peened on something and this is kind of my first few months of even learning to do a little blacksmithing and stuff like that so you know flattening everything out there's even just a slight bit of a warp to the blade but not terrible it's going to be completely usable but you know it's functionally fine but it's definitely not perfect so just a learning experience and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so they're roughed out. Gonna take the rest of this little bit of stuff off with a grinder, clean up the choil in that one take that off and then this one's got some of the same similar stuff but they're going to be basic kind of generic blades but they're going to be kind of heavy duty as compared to an, a, a different machete you know like a walmart or something like that these will be a little bit tougher gonna have to do some flattening at some point i don't have material to drill and uh pin handles on or anything like that right now so i'll have to do that a different day but just filming this as i progress through it got them roughed out here very primitively at this point you can see the bow and the kind of twist in it and such gonna have to uh fire up the forge flatten them out again make sure i get all these edges that are kind of still not completely flat i gotta get these things as flat as i can possibly do it and then drill holes for the grip so flattened the uh, edges out there's still a little bit of i guess you could say contour from the, the upturned edges and stuff like that so much screaming down there at the ball field but tried to get them as straight as i could not super perfect i'm gonna let them normalize in there that's about as good as i can do a couple hours of heat treat in the oven just to sort of normalize the entire blade with where I'd quench the edge on both of these. So now we're gonna do a little bit of grinding and just putting, uh, I guess you could say rough edges on it and then handles and then later I'll worry more about putting an even better edge on it.
since doing two of these at the same time has been pretty time consuming and it makes sense if I've got the forge going to pound out a couple separate blanks. I'm just gonna pick one of these. I'm gonna go with this one to finish out on the video and then this one I'll do at a later date and just kind of have this one be the secondary when I finish up. But I just wanna kind of get progress on one and uh, maybe if I screw it up, <laughs> I won't screw up the other one. So this is where we're gonna do a fork in the road and uh, do the old big chopper here. All right, so this should be a little bit better. Gonna have to uh, trim those up, but at least it's a little, little more flush fitting than the rubber and just not as much of a freaking mess. De definitely gonna have to reduce the thickness and all that stuff and kind of cut it to fit and probably gonna remove this part and just have the metal with the uh, lanyard hole that I'd had drilled come out in the back. mostly line up where I want it to be. It's not going to be perfectly, perfectly square, but it's going to be pretty square. So we're going to clamp her down. Definitely the mark of an amateur. All right, so to be continued tomorrow. So I definitely should have got those pins even shorter. So I'm just gonna let it glue and cure for 24 hours. And I will come back, make sure they're at least all to one side, cut off the excess and paint them one more time. Cause that's, well that's pretty crappy, but it's the first time I've ever done it. So we will see if I can get these things glued on pretty solid and then paint it and then shape the handles and that should be it. And then the scabbard will come later, but that's not gonna be in the uh, finishing video of this for sure. All right, so I'm gonna to try to peen these. I'm gonna cut these off real, real close and then peen them as good as I can. And uh, that'll be it for at least attaching the handles and I'll try to smooth off, you know, what I've cut off and all that stuff and maybe do some sanding. So, I'd say that's about as good as I'm going to get it, and I can just flush them up and kind of grind down where I need to and just shape the handle a little bit. Got the little lanyard hole opened up. that sucker with an abrasive wheel a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about being too precise with this because this is, you know, hand carved with a mora after I'd pinned them on for the most part. So I'm just kinda, that doesn't look all that great. I may touch up on that, but I'm not gonna film every little thing I do here, but 
It ain't great, but it ain't terrible. All right, so probably still needs a little bit more edge worked on, and I'll probably do that later. But as it sits, this is this is the product. Gonna do a little testing, and then we're gonna end this. Pretty, pretty loose edge on that thing right now, so. Getting good strikes one-handed isn't very easy either. So like everything else on this channel, we're gonna be working with what we got. And I got leather dye, I don't have any stain right now. So we're gonna leather dye this handle because that's what poor people do. They use what they got, and this is what we got. And this doesn't come off walls, because my kid taught me that. My daughter got a hold of one of these that was used and uh, went to town with it. All right, so let me towel this thing off and see what she looks like. All right, so finished product after dyeing the handles. Like I said, gonna have to do a different edge because it, it didn't perform like I wanted it to. The smaller stuff, it just blazes right through, but I wanna be able to like whack down small saplings. So there will be a third video of me after I get this sharpened up good and i'm going to take it out and try to put it through some tests and stuff that little bit of whacking just wasn't very good so we will re-edge this thing in due time in the third video we'll put it to action but that is what it is that's it after being dyed and all that jazz first build i've ever done so hopefully it performs after we re-edge it Thanks for watching.